Hey everybody, this is Javi and you are watching Bedtime Stories with Javi. Um, I'm on every Wednesday night at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And um, I, this looks a little different. From now on, I'm gonna be doing pre-recorded videos. I know I used to do lives, but um, some personal stuff has happened to where like I am gonna be resting and one uh, way to do that is by pulling back a lot of the projects that um, they require me to be on live. So this is one of them. However, I'm still going to be reading bedtime stories every Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. They'll just be on YouTube and I'll be posting the video on Instagram as well. I just want to let you know that. But now that you're here and you're tuned in, uh, if you resonate with what I read, uh, which is books about uh, marginalized and colonized people or written by marginalized and colonized people, Black folks and trans people uh, in particular. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, by all means, click that subscribe button on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram under uh, the Inner Child Collective, and also on TikTok, Facebook, uh, and Twitter. So just want to let you know that um, in case you wanted to, you know, follow me. So this week, I am going to be reading a book called You Matter by uh, Christian Robinson. And so I'm really uh, ready to dig into this book. So let's go ahead and do that. It's called You Matter. The small stuff, too small to see. Mm -hmm. Those who swim with the tide and those who don't. First to go, first the first to go and the last, you matter. when everyone thinks you're a pest. When something is just out of your reach. When everyone is too busy to help, you matter. If you fall down, If you have to start all over again, even if you're even if you're really gassy, you matter. Sometimes home is far away. Sometimes someone you love says goodbye. Sometimes you feel lost and alone, but you matter. Young and old, The 
first to go and the last. The small stuff, too small to see. You matter. The end. Thank you so much for um, joining me to listen to the uh, or watch uh, the reading of You Matter by Christian Robinson. And I really enjoy this book and I really love this book because it has not only does it have all kinds of children on here and it talks about you know various people within the community and within the world um but it also talks about how regardless of who you are and where you've come from and where you sit in the world you have you not only do you matter but you have the right to take up space and i like the fact that you're that this book is teaching children um, that they are worthy enough to take up space, regardless of who they are and regardless of where they've come from. Because now, like, it's 2020 or 2021, and this is actually the, the year of reconstruction. And so reconstruction means restructuring everything you are, letting go of things, people, places, and situations, but also... Um, letting go of old thoughts, old stories that tell you that you are not, uh, that you are not worthy and you do not matter regardless of who you are. And this book is saying, no, this, that's not the truth at all. And it's very important, um, you know, especially with inner child work, those who are doing inner child work. And I meant to tell you this, um, at the beginning of the video, um, I do these segments so people can tap into their inner child. I do these so people can empower their inner child. That's the reason why I do bedtime stories and read bedtime stories to the collective. And the most powerful way to heal is to rewrite your story. And this new matter plays a huge part in that because when you're doing any sort of childhood uh, trauma work, um, you're literally navigating through the stories of, you know, about you not matter, mattering, about you uh, taking up space, about you, sh you not, um, about you not existing, or a feeling as if you should not exist because of who you are and where you've come from. There's a lot of us who are walking around with a lot of shame deriving from our trauma, our childhood trauma in particular, and it's because our subconscious mind tells us those stories. These, like a story like You Matter, a children's book like You Matter, um, pretty much debunks all of that stuff, or at least tries to help you do so anyhow. Um, so you are, uh, you and your inner child are able to look in the mirror one day and look in the mirror today and uh, recognize your, your worth, your worthiness, not just that, but uh, your divinity. It's very important to recognize your divinity when you are doing this work. And this book actually hits it home, even though it's for children. This can also be for adults who are doing inner child energy work, uh, shadow work around those stories about you um, not being worth it or not being um, loved and being unlovable. And actually, like I said before, um, books like You Matter, any book that empowers children, uh, any book that empowers your inner child is a book that is going to help you along uh, in the long run. And this is basically one that I would definitely put in my toolbox. So I actually got this book uh, because of your, the donations that y'all sent out. So if there's an, uh, 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 someone out there who would love to give a donation uh, to this segment, uh, by all means, uh, let me know. Uh, every little bit counts, uh, $1, uh, $5, whatever it is your money is going to a good place. It's definitely going to empowering uh, books like this. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoy that as well. Um, if you resonated with that, with, you know, you matter or um, this, this segment, as I said before, please click that like button, 
that subscribe button so you will never, ever, ever miss another bedtime story segment. Um, I also, uh, I also uh, am very active on, on social media. Hi, boo boo. I'm also active on social media. So uh, you can also follow me on uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube and uh, Twitter. Um, I'm always talking about inner child stuff, always talking about healing, trauma, always talking about dismantling uh, a lot of the subconscious stories that we have heard about ourselves, which derives from uh, white supremacist ideologies um, and our intersections being used against us. And that happened, that's one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why uh, marginalized and, and not marginalized, but um, historical and generational trauma, intergenerational trauma exists. And that's what we're healing from. Um, and that's where our inner child is healing from as well. So please, please, please um, like stay tuned for that. And um, always, I'm always talking about this type of stuff. So please follow my platform if you would like to know more. Uh, what else? Hmm. I'm also going to be, <laughs> I don't know, I'm also going to be starting um, a Bedtime Stories a podcast pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll be reading uh, the same type of books here. Uh, mar any a book that is written by a marginalized, and colonized person or uh, showcases uh, marginalized, and colonized characters. So um, representation is extremely important, um, but most importantly, it's very important for your inner child to tap into that energy um, and you, in order to heal and to begin healing uh, from those stories that we've heard. So that is, all, I think that's all I have. Thank you as far as announcements and all that. So thank you again for your support. I really appreciate it. Be sure to share this video as well and let people know that I'm here every Wednesday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All right, until next time, peace, see you later.